Good morning, thank you for coming. Good YouTube. morning, and first of all, I cannot believe you guys showed my video on national well, talent. I must say, you've got the moves like that. <laughs> How long have you been dancing? Um, to clarify, I'm a Zumba instructor. Okay. So, yeah. dance is kind of a passion after work. Uh -huh. and I've been dancing since my feet could move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it shows. Uh, yeah, I will obviously get that video to be up in the world again this month. <laughs> now, yeah, just uh, taking us uh, through your experience yes. uh, through uh, you know, the competition in the Philippines. How was it? You know, words fail me. It was a once in a lifetime trip. It was amazing. And as they say, in part to make a change, we, the change was made more into our lives, the candidates, more than we made a change out there because the experience was inspiring, it was amazing, and the schedule was hectic. But during all that, we had so much fun. I learned to be a better speaker, a better initiator, a better project planner. It was all packed. All right, so in terms of uh, some key takeaway points that uh, can be beneficial to us, what can you say about that? Um, my takeaway point from Miss Earth was it definitely taught me to be a decided person. You had to think about projects and run with the projects. You had to be a well spoken person. You had to know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the environment, you cannot miss or you cannot, you know, talk about facts that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So it taught me how to be a well researched person, a well spoken person, how to be detailed and to push for change. Because when it comes to the environment, not a lot of people pay attention, but they teach us to be strong ambassadors, to go in and to impact change and to be much more inspirational. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, of course, uh, back home, uh, you did talk about that in your previous uh, interview. Now, it's just giving you more impetus to do more environmental programs. What are you thinking now? Do you know, I always say this every single day, that big projects, yes, we can do them. But my main focus is on behavioral change. I want to activate the small things you can start doing. Might it be switching off the light? not using things that you don't need to use necessarily, putting down flat and all that. I'm starting with the small things. So this month we're working on cleanup campaigns, tree planting, teaching the Zimbabwe itself that we can start small, we can start at home. Mm. Having to curb climate change effects and you know making the environment better doesn't start by having big initiatives. It actually starts in our homes. Mm. So that is why I'm pushing for behavioral change, pushing the five arts. We think, respect, reduce, reuse, recycle. Mm -hmm. Let us think about those every single thing, everything we do. Oh, How do you want uh, the nation to support your endeavors if they don't provide much support in what you want to do? First of all, I would love the, the nation to embrace the message of change, to look out to the environment, make it a safe and better environment for our generation and the next one to come.